Well, hi everyone, this is Leo. As everyone knows, Apple has the best smart devices in the world, but due to a lot of system restrictions, people are unable to use it to its full extent. Well, obviously, you're paying hundreds of dollars and sometimes almost a thousand dollars in the case of the iPhone 10, so you deserve to use the devices the way you want. You deserve all those cool themes and all those tweaks for customization, and I will help you do that. You must have heard of the new jailbreak that has come out in the market recently called Saigon Jailbreak. I have always been a jailbreak lover and have tested and used a lot of jailbreaks out there in the market like Pangu and Yalu. And this Saigon Jailbreak is one of the best jailbreaks I have used so far. So today I will show you how you can use this Saigon Jailbreak to jailbreak any iDevice. As per the device requirement, it is compatible for all the iDevices. This tool will itself check the iOS version of the device you are using and will jailbreak it accordingly. I will be using iPhone 8 Plus for the demo. So alright, let's go ahead and jailbreak it. Open the Safari or Chrome browser and visit this site, SaigonJB.com. This is the official site for the Saigon jailbreak. You can see the list of compatible devices below and also the list of bug fixes and the new updates. Now just follow along with what I'm doing. Here you can see the version of iOS installed on your device. Now click on this download JB button and it will start the jailbreaking process. The major requirement for this jailbreak is the device ID of your iPad or iPhone. The jailbreak won't be completed without this ID, so the tool will first try to get this ID automatically via port 7809. Many times this port is blocked, like on this iPhone 8 Plus. However, on my other iPhone 8 Plus, it took the device ID automatically via port 7809. Since I wanted to show you the other possibility too, I'm using this phone where the port is blocked. Here we need to manually get the device ID, so there are some specific apps on the App Store that have built-in function of returning device ID to iOS kernel. All you have to do is just follow the instructions given here. Once you perform the instructions correctly, it will return the device ID to iOS kernel, which will be grabbed by Saigon JB to complete the jailbreak process. You must be wondering why you need to follow these instructions. Well, every app on the App Store has a feature of checkpoints, which tells if the app has been successfully deployed or, in simple words, installed on the device. Once this checkpoint is completed, it will perform some specific task. In the case of the apps given here, they return the device ID to iOS kernel as an indication of successful installation. Saigon has the ability to grab this device ID from iOS kernel, so that will do our job. I know it's a lot of technical stuff at the moment, but don't worry and just follow along with what I'm doing. Once you have the chosen app, click OK and you'll be redirected to the App Store. Here you just need to download the app. Then open it and perform the instructions given to you so we can complete the checkpoint the app requires, and then it will return the device ID to kernel. After performing the instructions, just go back to the browser and check the status. As you can see, it's grabbing the device ID now. Now it is verifying the ID and completing the jailbreak. And there you have it, the jailbreak is successful. Give it some time to install Cydia now. Alright, the Cydia is installed, however, we need to restart the phone once. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. 
So I've restarted my iPhone, and there is the Cydia. Now you can go ahead and tweak your iPhone and iPad. You definitely deserve all of this customization. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try my best to help you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.